I'm ready. tuning in lamp fam here's what we got going on today i am so excited to talk about my love of attending conventions there's a lot of good energy around you're typically in a room just full of people like you interested in the same thing whatever that thing might be i promise you when you go to your first convention you get like this convention bug it's a great time i revel in it i'd like to go over what i pack in my convention bag while also giving you some insight on what to expect and how to prepare for your next convention. First and foremost, it doesn't matter what time of year you attend your convention. Pack yourself a jacket or a sweater. I go for denim. It's the easiest because it goes with most outfits. It's unisex. Everyone looks great in it. And I think a lot of people, even if you're not always cold, for some reason, the air ventilation, it's on high blast. I think convention centers and ballrooms, you know, hotels, they do this because there's so many people and they have to keep the airflow moving or else it gets stagnant and like there'll be this funk in the air or denim you're solid next so I highly recommend you bring a book at some point you're going to wait for a meet-and-greet you're gonna wait for food for a panel you're gonna wait for a discussion you're going to wait for something at your convention and it's gonna be longer than anticipated if you don't feel like conversating this is a great excuse just to be in your own zone during downtime please have a bottle I usually go for a hydro flask I don't have mine at the moment because I had an accident. I don't really want to talk about it right now. Even if liquids aren't permitted, usually outside food and drink, like strictly prohibited. I'm gonna give you a hack around that. Just go in with an empty water bottle. Next, if you come in with sealed food, kind of like TSA at the airport. If it's sealed and unopened, they typically let it in. So my favorite is to always have a salty and a sweet. Get like a nice nut mix for some protein if you like nuts. If you don't like nuts, I think choose a healthy fruit snack is always a great option. Um, I'm even a big fan of Gardetto's. Gardetto's has like all shortbreads now. <laughs> Any snacks that don't cause too much of a mess, too much left on your hands. That's why the salty chips, as much as I love me some good chips, they're just not the best convention food. You'll, you'll thank me later. Because of our technology world, you will not regret investing in a good power pack, a universal charger that can charge the phone, the iPad, the computer, the camera. You must pack an external battery. Living on low battery mode or even packing a spare charger Charger, you guys, it's not enough. You're gonna be taking photos, you're gonna be taking video, you're gonna be on social media, you're gonna be making connections with people. This video is not sponsored. Mine is the Double XL Mophi power station. You don't have to go as extreme as me. Because I'm a video creator, I'm using all my devices so rigorously at conventions. Technology is great to take your notes on, to stay connected, but there's something about having a physical notebook, making yourself write down the notes of a speaker, a keynote, or if you're an iPad or tablet user, physically writing it down. I think there's something to be said about making yourself write it like, it just really sets the memory in place and you won't forget it. And last thing in my bag is actually hand sanitizer. Um, you need to be clean. At conventions, you trust what I say. You'll have that moment where you're upset you can't make it to a restroom. Along with hand sanitizer, other tidbits that I didn't throw in my bag, gum, mint, and chapstick. Nobody wants to see you looking dry. Everyone talks a lot. People lose their voices at conventions, folks. So pack anything that's going to enhance the experience. So when you're in those moments where you can't step away, go back to your hotel room or get out of the convention you're prepared and you're set. Because <laughs> I want to make this a solid convention video. Maybe everything I mentioned in my bag you already know. I want to give you some things to keep in mind or what to expect in your convention experience. It's very crowded everywhere you go. The idea of personal space is just gone. Earplugs aren't a bad idea if you're sensitive to loud music. Conventions get loud just like concerts. There's a lot of music, big screens, flashing lights sometimes. If a lot of stimuli is a lot for you, I would bring some sort of headgear that can mitigate that to make it a little bit more pleasant. Bring cash. A lot of vendors only accept cash. Not everyone accepts card or contactless phone pay. You know, Apple Pay, Samsung Pay. You get what I'm saying. Get rest. 
This is so important. If there's one thing that everyone fails at when they attend conventions, we get so caught up in it. We don't pay attention to time. Everyone is running really low on sleep. There's so much to do that you can't possibly attend everything and do everything. It's hard. I know. Be your own parent. It is the time that you are leaving the convention for the evening. I know everyone's like, oh, set yourself a bedtime. It's like, make it on. No, 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 no. You will not follow that. I guarantee it. Set your exit so you can allow travel to then settle in your hotel room and get some good sleep. Dress semi-casual. This is one I don't think anyone puts much time into thinking about. I think we just wanna wear the things that we love, we're comfortable in, fandom t-shirts. That's great and all. If you're going for potential professional reasons, you look weird in a suit or a business dress. Button up is always great. I should have like steamed it, don't judge me. I just pulled it out of my closet for this video. Just think business-like without going overboard. Okay, Lamb Fam, that is all I have for you today. Thank you for sticking around. If you've never attended a convention, tell me if there's one that if you could attend, which one would it be? My socials are below. I am posting back on my Instagram. I'm at It's Amalam. Please check it out. Give this video a like because I'm doing so much work for you all. And peach emoji as always for the love. Because that's just how we do here. You know, I appreciate you greatly. And until next time, take care. Bye.